well, recently, we're beginning to see some shift of attention from the development of large language models to the new trend with robotics. And OpenAI has partnered with 1X, formerly known as Howlady Robotics, to roll out their new product, Neo. This is expected to be interesting as this announcement means that 1X is moving ahead of Tesla and some other giants that we've been looking up to in the robotics race. But I'm thinking this particular announcement will be followed by a similar reaction that we had with OpenAI first releasing ChatGPT. That was when Google had to push its product into the market as well. Already, 1X has rolled out a robot called Eve, and the reports on the performance have been spectacular, as the robot is said to be able to play roles that will help it in carrying out some of the manual labor required in factories and other work environments. 1X was able to raise over $23 million in the last fundraising that they just had, which they said will be pushed into the scaling of production for Eve and further development of Neo, which in fact will be rolled out pretty soon. And the information on Neo's rollout isn't just hearsay as 1X made it public on the website that they'll be taking pre-orders by the end of this year. These are interesting developments and I'll like to see how this will be received by the public. It's no secret that there have been concerns about the introduction of these robots, ranging from safety to the displacement of human labor. And 1X seems to be confident in the aspect of safety. The first thing that meets the eye on the site just after the introduction of Neo is the safety first caption, followed by a statement that says 1X tests every Neo in real world scenarios before they're deployed. Neo's soft, organically inspired mechanics make them safer from inside out, so they're ready for your spaces. I'm not certain how far we should be willing to trust 1X on this one. One thing that we know that makes the release of these robots now so spectacular is the integration of AI technology. And over the past months, we've been exposed to some really scary stuff about these models, which have been found to hide some of their capabilities for a while before we even get to learn about them. So it might be safe to say that we don't know everything there is to know about the existing models. And what we're talking about here is bringing these technologies a lot closer to humans. As for the replacement of human labor, these robots are expected to be working side by side with humans in the meantime, because you know how the LLMs get to develop and build themselves from the interactions with humans. The same thing is expected to apply here. But what we don't know as of now, what will be our fate when this training time is over and these robots are finally functioning optimally? I think these are valid problems we should address at this point, as these AI-powered systems grow at a jaw-dropping pace, and we may find ourselves grappling for support if this is an approach the right way. For now, let's look at some of the milestones that 1X has been able to cover recently with their robotics projects, and things we'll need to be expecting about the new physical robot Neo. EVE is the product that 1X has used to overtake other players in the robotics industry to come out at the top in that sector. And there's been some interesting applications, which I think to be pretty much impressive. As a test run for the project, Eve was made to take up the role of a security guard in a facility. And the performance has been so far said to be spectacular with excellent navigation systems and object tracking systems. One thing I find here is that 1X has built in something like, if you will, a safeguard against any incident where the robot might misbehave. According to the interview that the CEO of 1X, Bernd Bornich, granted the Daily Mail, human security guards who monitor the operation of the robots can easily step in virtually to take control of the robots. These safeguards are very important since the aim of these advancements is that we'll someday reach AGI and even superintelligence. The development of physical robots which are powered by AI takes us a lot closer to this goal. And with the new video feature that we expect to see in newer models of ChatGPT4, things will be getting a whole lot more interesting. And the targeted commercial release of the EVE robot is targeted at not just security duties, but also a wide range of functions, such as caregiving, factory work, and even helping with domestic duties. And the price is estimated to be tagged above $100,000 per unit. But looking at products like Eve and some others from Google, you'll find that they still come out basically as robotic arms. Eve does have a head and a set of hands, which has remarkably improved the number of activities it can be engaged in. But 1X is looking to do a whole lot better with Neo. The images show that this humanoid robot will be designed to look more human than its predecessors. And it just makes sense that an AI like ChatGPT, which is designed to mirror human responses, should be fitted in human-like shells. 
although you'll be wrong to think that's the only reason they're adopting the human body structure in making these models. When you visit the official website, you'll find that there are more advantages to this than you think. Firstly, it integrates the fluid movement that you find in humans into these robots. The aim is to enable these robots to be able to carry out most of the activities that humans can. As much as that's impressive, there's some reservations here because since this can do all that humans do, which we expect that they'll be even better at carrying out these tasks, there'll be no need for human labor soon enough. The plan to have these robots integrated into society necessitates another reason for the adoption of the human-like body structure. For example, the care industry requires that caregivers, who are assigned sometimes to people with hearing difficulties, be able to communicate through other means outside speech. Well, it is expected that the robots will be able to mimic body language and maybe even sign language to help widen the scope. As I said before, things are getting interesting. The third reason outlined is that overall, it will be easier for robots to integrate themselves with our environment when they look like us. This way, they'll be able to handle tools and other stuff in the environment, and since most things are designed for human use, this approach seems a lot more acceptable. Earlier models of robots are designed to carry out specific tasks, which makes them unsuitable for a lot of things outside those defined roles. But technology like NEO is focused on general applications. Whatever the case, I'm quite eager to see what these robots will be like and how they'll be able to handle tasks when they're put outside of these controlled environments. I just hope that the government bodies can collaborate with tech companies to find the best ways to apply these, in a bid to avoid any extremities that might have huge impacts. Some might find the newly found interest that OpenAI regained in the field of robotics recently a bit weird. If you just started following the AI news this year, you might not have known that OpenAI had a section of the company that was dedicated to robotics. And they built some very impressive stuff. They had this robot arm that was able to solve the Rubik's Cube then, and it was just insane. However, they had to close the sector down back in 2021 because of the large amount of data and processing power required to run the project. But I'm guessing that the newly found relationship that they have with Microsoft, coupled with the recent breakthroughs in the GPT program, have provided the necessary resources required for the success of the programs. If they had gone back to start from scratch and built another team in robotics, it would have been too difficult to catch up with the trend. So it makes sense that they'll just partner with an existing company, like they did with 1X, to carry out these projects, which has so far proven to be a reasonable direction and we expect to see things that will be a lot more interesting coming from this. And OpenAI and 1X are not alone in these advancements. We've mentioned a few times in passing in some of our previous videos about Google's physical robots too, and even that from Tesla. All these companies are infusing AI into their robots for a more intelligent outcome. Elon Musk had to leave OpenAI in 2018, not minding he was one of the major founding personalities of the company, with millions of dollars in investment. The reason is said to have something to do with AI's partnership with Microsoft, which shifted the interest from a non-profit to a capped profit company. He has since invested in his own robotics company, which is under Tesla, and also unveiled his own robot named Optimus. And the demonstration shows these robots displaying some amazing motor skills. And the robots learn from the human demonstration of activities, which will come in handy in work environments. Maybe we'll have a detailed video on this next time. Overall, we're seeing some amazing stuff, and we can only hope that it gets better and safer with time. We'll bring you more updates as they come, and we'll see you in the next video.